So, here we go again, and today I'll be doing a Zaku Tree Custom Unboxing Review. Zaku Tree Custom comes from Double Zeta Series and High Grade Universal Central Line, and originally was released in 1999, so about 20 year old kit. Probably a reprint they have, I bought a second hand shop online from Japan. And I already have a mass produced Zaku, so this one will be an excellent addition to uh, one I have already, since it has a different color scheme and customized for specific charger and have an overall different look with different details. So, number 003 in the line, you can say it's very old kit, despite the old appearance. Could have been at least as a new one, but but I do not seem to be not planning to do anything like that soon. So we have a first bag with trees, and this will be a bluish looking one, which I do not really like the color. I think color unbox was a more like dark gray. Let's take a look. The backpack, yeah, it's more like a dark gray, not a bluish. And second one will be a Dark green, dark green, dark green is fine. I have no issues with this color. And we have a light green, uh, which in a final composition will be looking uh, really good uh, alongside with dark green. So I guess this is a good thing for an old kit. Have a quite decent color separation on old kits. Otherwise, you have polycaps, some of them really old type polycaps. I probably won't do a uh, real justice on articulation i think and overall the zaku tree is a very bulk and big mobile suit, so you can't expect a lot of articulation points in this mobile suit so we'll be getting what we have and uh, aside of all that i don't know is that a reprint or original one i got but fact is that it might be a very fragile plastic we have some info uh many are slightly Slightly different from regular manuals. I I believe it's a little bit shorter. Yes. So it's not a big deal. I just notice something. I think it is a little bit odd. And we have a fully built and fully painted model. A presentation on the front page. Yeah, looking good. Big badass. Of course, uh, feet might be looking now a little bit too big. But uh, yeah, that's an idea, and I mentioned again, but I do not plan to release, release I mean, new mold for Psycho Tree, so we have to deal with what we have. And uh, Psycho Tree actually only released in a high grade line, no re 100, no master grades, nothing else about a high grade, even no less. So it is, uh, it just can be uh, considered as a rare kit at the point now. So we have an art. Of course we have a gimmicks, I forgot to mention. Uh, gimmicks for uh, grenades. We have a grenades. But the most important gimmick, which probably won't be used in my case, this is a little mini guns hidden in a front skirt. Nothing really special compared to nowadays gimmicks on new models, but yeah. And one of the biggest difference aside of a head backpack compared to the mass produced Zaku tree is a, a, a rare back skirt. Yeah, this one skirt from the back, S skirt. <laughs> Let's uh, look at it like this. It is a big and huge difference. Normal Zaku has a about a normal size skirt, so it's not a big deal, but um. This one has a completely new look, and you can say definitely it is a quite a different mobile suit compared to the mass production type. And one day probably I will do a comparison, maybe even sooner than I think. I will probably build it in upcoming days, in upcoming days, and I will do some comparison video, maybe some short review. I'm not very good at that, so bear with that. Bear with me, bear with my incompetence. We have a regular manual. By the way, uh, 
model doesn't come with a big amount of stickers, so I believe some parts, tiny bits, like this one, will be uh, painted by me, hand painted, the brush, and we'll take a look how it will be finished, how it looks like in our world. So we have uh, this uh, pre-colored beam saber, which one we get unpainted at all. 100% I believe that old kids at some point didn't have it and you can paint like that but they, they have they do include it sorry for switching some here we go we have this long pole green pole it is a beam shaver actually it's not like a big issue and I'm not planning to pose it with a painted beam saber or give it from the other highlights leftovers but yeah that's something you should paint in color by yourself one day. Then we have uh, someone clapping the doors. We have a beam machine gun gimmick, which is how we have both hands. And we'll see in the practice how it will be work out. And we have the same gimmick I mentioned before. And of course the rare side, which is quite impressive for big bulk models. A truly opposing force for double zeta it was in the series okay that much about this short review uh, unboxing review actually and thank you for being with me see you next time